Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crate for your storefront or your farm um, shop or whatever you have. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to go to my shop and you want to purchase the kit for this because this is going to be a kit. And then after you have it, you want to take all of the protective layer paper off of it. If you can see, this looks like it's scorched. It's because it's laser cut. So you want to take the protective coating off. It just peels off like tape. It's very easy. Make sure you get inside the banana. Flip it over. Don't forget the inside. And once you do that, you'll have a nice clean piece of wood. And you can really tell the difference in here and here where this one's been peeled and this one has not. Okay, so once you have that, you wanna take your little helper tool that comes with the kit. And what this is, it's a tool that's gonna to help you keep this all squared. So you wanna slide that together it may be tight and it may not be so tight. It just depends on how they milled the 1 8 inch wood at that time. This one fits pretty firmly. Um, so yours may or may not be quite that firm. If it's not perfectly firm, you can always crazy glue it together and that's fine too. But this one's pretty tight so I don't have to do that. Next thing you want to do is get yourself some Loctite super glue. Mine's almost empty, so I like to push it all and get the most of it because it's just like, you know, why waste it? Okay, now you want to go ahead and take your ends and you want to flip them backwards like a puzzle. And when you have it facing this way with the words up, you want to flip it that way. This one you want to turn around like this so when you flip it that way and it comes together the words are facing in the proper direction. All right now you want to go ahead and put some glue right along this edge. And it's an end grain so it will soak in a little bit. Okay, now this is going to go like this, so you're going to have to put glue on the edges of this piece. Do the same to the opposite side and remember to lay them back down exactly where they were okay now this is where it gets to be tricky okay, you want to put that there then you want to put this piece here and this piece goes in the middle and then this piece goes here now this is not all going to fit perfect until you get this little attachment in here. And you'll have to play with it just a tiny bit to get it on there and get it started. got to go down pretty much at the same time because it's all squared up. Okay. 
Okay, once you have it on there, you wanna push it completely flat. I'm already sticking to the paper. And then you wanna square up your ends so that they're even. Make sure your ends are all lined up flat with each other all the way around so they're not sticking out on one side or the other. And by doing that, when the glue is still wet, you just wanna squeeze it together there. And then for the inside, you can take something that you have that is long enough and just make sure you push the bottom flat. It should go flat when you push this down, but just in case it doesn't, you wanna make sure. Cause see how that, now it's flat cause it's, it picked up. All right, make sure you have it all squeezed together. And then you wanna let it dry. Now, you should not have issues with the glue sticking to this tool because I have cut out the corners of the bottom of it so that it can leave room for the glue to um, go around it. But that's basically all you do. And then, again, it's a little difficult at first getting it kind of going. And it, you can glue this piece together if you want one there. Another thing you can do if you don't want to use the tool for anything else, um, it's good to keep. Right now I'm including it in the kit. I don't know that it'll always be included in the kit. So you might want to hold on to it. But if not, you can just use the tool and glue it in there and use it as a handle for your bin. But that's all it is. It's pretty simple to put this together. It takes about maybe three minutes, you know, as long as you get everything together the way I just did. And then that's it. All right. I'll leave the link below when I have this up and ready on the shop. So leave a like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. If there's anything that you want to see laser cut and you haven't seen it for doll housing, put a comment below and give me your suggestion. I'm taking suggestions right now. Um, and follow my Facebook page. I've got lots and lots of stuff I've already started doing. So check that out. And um, there's a crib on there. There's some TV, a uh, greenhouse, and uh, a rocking horse, some little trikes and bikes, and a bunch of different things. So check it out. You'll get um, inspired. And the laser stuff will be on my shop, so you can purchase the kit if you like and do the same thing I just did. And this here kit will be coming with four. It'll have a milk, and eggs, a vegetable, and a fruit. And then it'll have the helper tool as well. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.